didn't know if what I was doing was rational or irrational. I was sort of lost in a blur. Hello, my name is Will. I am 33 years old and I am in the construction industry. So all growing up and everything, I was absolutely fine. And to be honest, I thought what is mental health for a long, long time. And then about three years ago, I was newly married, a young kid, a business, and everything was very, very busy. And now looking back on it, I was spread way too thin. And I was trying to fill up every cup, I would say, and there wasn't enough water to fill up every cup. And then it got to a point where I couldn't, I was trying to be the best dad, I was trying to be the best business owner, trying to be the best husband. Felt like I was um, an old school um, outdoor chair, the plastic ones, and you could just snap me because I was that brittle. Since hitting rock bottom, um, a lot of friends were like, oh, I never saw it coming and all those sorts of things. Yeah, fr friends and family were a huge part. They, uh, whether it was looking after the kids or coming to have a chat or I had mates that went and did work, jobs that I had on, they went and finished them on a Saturday for me. Slowly as I recovered, I used family to just go to work for a few hours a day to try and get a routine back and get back into things. Yeah, routine for me is like, I've realized through this and through COVID that like I need a routine and I need something to get me up in the morning. And if it's the most basic mundane task, I still need a routine. I went to therapy with someone and some days it felt like talking to a brick wall and I wouldn't get a lot back from them but that was what was needed but I was able to talk and get everything out um, and for a lot of people I don't think therapy is accessible in New Zealand and um, yeah I was super lucky to be able to do that and work through from the start and do all the steps in the right order because I think if things had been in a different order, the outcome may have been different. I did a brainstorm of all the things that I sort of needed to be happy. So um, catching up with friends fortnightly was one. Playing golf or even just practicing golf was another one. Um, uh, having date nights was another one, but those were little things and it was another, I've still actually got it in my wardrobe and it's another thing that I can check when things are, when I am feeling like things are getting out of balance. Where am I now? I would say it's still a work in progress and I still look at the brainstorm and I still have to check like where I'm at in terms of balance and uh, making sure my priorities are right. If I can keep my life in balance, then I don't get those feelings. Lockdown for me was a good time to solidify all the thoughts that I'd sort of been working through previously for the previous six or so months and getting my priorities right. And for me, I worked out that I didn't want to own my own business. I just, I wanted, not just, but I wanted to go to work every day and have a routine that I could come home and spend time with my family and if that meant less money, that was all right, because it meant more time. We spent lots of time together as a family, and we rode, went bike riding, skating, just hung around home and cooked together, cleaned together. Um, yeah, it was like a little holiday. I think to, to everyone out there, li life can be hard, but life doesn't have to be miserable. And if you're miserable, then do something about it 
and go speak to a mate or go speak to a professional to get help. Something I've learnt through all this is if you can say this too shall pass or will this really matter in five years, that's, that'll get you through the next couple of days and then once you can get through the next couple of days, hopefully you can find a better balance. Hello, my name is Will and I'm a voice of hope.